of the week. And let's get started with uh, let's get started with Chilla. What do you got for me this week? So, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I maybe I'm losing my mind. Maybe it's that old age, I, right? It's, yeah, it's getting getting old. Lack of sleep. Mm-hmm. I, I don't remember if I talked about this uh, two weeks ago. There's been so much tech news that's, that's going on between. I, I know I talked about getting the Apple Watch and whatnot, but one of the big big things coming out of Google Google I/O was the unlimited photo storage, right? Um, for free. Uh, um, I, I started really uploading and I actually, this has actually forced me to, to reorganize my personal photo library as well as set up the uploaders on all of my devices. And when I say all of my devices, that means my iPad, my Nexus 7, my iPhone, my Samsung Galaxy S6, my Samsung Galaxy uh, camera. Um, I'm running uploader off of a windows machine and a Mac. Um, so I have a bunch of media all going up into Google's library. Um, some people might find that scary. Um, I find it actually super convenient as a backup mechanism. Um, after I get this initial upload done, I'm actually going to use a two terabyte drive with a, with a, and set that up on an old Mac mini. Um, and use that as my constant synchronization engine. Um, to me, the whole unlimited unlimited photo, and, and it's interesting how Google did this, right? They don't give you unlimited drive space. They give you unlimited photo sync as, and video as long as the video is 1080p or below or 16 megapixel or below. Obviously, they do some of their own compression in the back end, um, but this is kind of transforming the whole way I'm looking at family photos, uh, pictures of cons, um, band photos that I've taken in the past, old band videos that I that I've, I've taken um, on some old like flip cams and stuff like that. Um, so this is bringing that all back front and center and getting me to actually organize it and get it backed up. Um, also getting it in a in a way that I can continue to organize it here. Um, right now it's spread across multiple USB drives, SD cards, smaller, um, smaller hard drives, things of that nature. Um, so I can't rave enough about how cool Google has, has made all of my photos, including where, you know, I had, I had multiple pictures of Christopher, um, on the swings. It, it made an animation out of that. It took... Um, weekend trips and and the Carla and I took and it actually kind of created the map and a story and it would show the the dotted the dotted thing of us traveling and then so, pictures of each location broken up by day. So is um, is is this is all that new to you? Were you not using Google Photos before in Google Plus? I was not using Google Photos in Google Plus because I the upload mechanism and the the not not having unlimited file space. Mm or unlimited storage was a deal breaker for me. So for me to take all, so it's, I don't want to just back up one device, right? I want to back up all the devices and to have that limit, it really didn't do much for me. Um, now that I don't have to worry about, and, and, and I should rephrase that, right? So the only things that I was uploading to photos was kind of like my polished edited photos. And I was using it to back those up. So you weren't now, letting you you weren't letting it do its thing, basically. Right, that's correct. Now, I, and I did get some auto awesome stuff, and I did get some some little bits of story in the past, but it not at the level that I'm getting now. And like I said, the main the main thing for me was my photo library is my or actually my yeah my photo library is probably about 230 gig um, of photos and video. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's where. And it, and it only continues to grow, right? So right. I, I actually constantly, I'm, I'm old school, so I actually was plugging in my iPhone periodically and running, I don't know if you've ever run Capture on the Mac, and it lets you just select and drag over all your photos and video from your phone. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was using that to grab the majority of my stuff off my iOS devices, and then I actually had my Google devices set to actually back up to Dropbox and I was pulling 
as the Google devices would sync up to Dropbox, I'd actually.